Monster storm reaches Australian islands. A cyclone carrying winds of up to 263 km per hour, 163 miles per hour, has battered popular holiday islands as it moves towards the coast of Queensland, Australia. More than 25,000 people were urged to evacuate ahead of Cyclone Debbie, a Category 4 storm now predicted to reach the mainland about 1400 hours local time, 4 o'clock GMT, on Tuesday. About 23,000 homes have already lost power, and there are reports of damage. Authorities said it would be the area's worst storm since Cyclone Yasi in 2011. Australia's Bureau of Meteorology said the cyclone's very destructive core had already reached the Whitsunday Islands. We're getting reports of roofs starting to lift, even in some of our own facilities in the Whitsundays, said Queensland Police Deputy Commissioner Steve Galski. One person in the region compared the winds to freight trains coming through left and right. Electricity providers said more homes would lose power and for an unknown period of time. Forecasters have twice delayed predictions of when the slow-moving storm will make landfall. It is now expected to cross the coast somewhere south of Bowen and remain over Queensland for hours. We are in for a long, tough day, said Queensland Premier Anastasia Palazschuk. The intensity and ferocity of the winds is going to be gradually increasing. Everyone is bunkered down. What is normally a bustling gateway to the Great Barrier Reef has ground to a halt in preparation. Forecasts suggest Townsville may not be hit directly by the storm's core, but winds have already picked up and no one is taking chances. Most businesses have shut up shop, some have sandbags lining the doorway. The few coffee shops that have opened are doing a roaring trade. Lines of police officers and firefighters are getting a heavy dose of caffeine to prepare for the long day and night ahead. Many tourists seem to have moved on, or cancelled their visit completely, one hotelier told me they had lost thousands of dollars in bookings. Even if Townsville is spared the worst of Cyclone Debbie, it is already feeling the impact. More than 2,000 emergency workers are also on standby, but people have been warned crews will only respond when it is safe to do so. Some residents refuse to leave despite warnings that Cyclone Debbie's destructive core could be as wide as 62 miles, 100 kilometers. Queensland authorities have closed 181 schools and 232 early childhood education centres. All flights have been cancelled at Townsville Airport and Mackay Airport.